Hello everyone, welcome back to Crash 4, Wrath of Cortex. Um, yeah, wait. The, the music's completely glitched up. It keeps on like looping on itself. Yeah, I love this side to enter and start the playthrough with. <laughs> that was super pointless. Just, he literally just like bring it, and then just left. <laughs> These are some quality uh, conversations. But yep, this is um, the last um, main uh, Atlas field level. There's one. There's one more in the secret warp room, but as far as like the main game goes, this is the last one. And uh, that was a good start. Yeah, hopefully uh, we can beat the game today, provi provided everything goes smoothly. Because I'm expecting. Oh, this is a bit laggy for me. I'm gonna drop the call for a moment and try and get back in. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's uh, not much to say about this, but they they really seem to like the medieval theme in this game. The like Crush Free only had three of these, and this game has like. Four? Five? Uh, there's this, there's... And there's at least three platforming medieval stages, so... Yeah, it's quite a bit. Now this is one of those levels that, where it feels really easy to miss a box in. Then again, that's a... that's... The majority of Crash 4 anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Are there any enemies aside from Tiny? Um, there's- you see the other henchmen, but... Besides that, I don't know. I think it's just random obstacles in nitros. Okay, I think it's just this nitros. Is floor made out of. Um. I I don't I don't think it's it would be stone. Um. I don't know. Granite, maybe? I think I'm supposed to go to the left side. Oh no, I'm not. It's just nitros. Oh well. Oh, so this is easy to miss. Just some random wall. these box placements are kind of a blur to me so I'm just I'm just kind of winging it
comment more, but the it's still kind of choppy for me. Like I'm. I can try and right re I can try and reset the screen share. Oops. Um, but, uh, Pressed the wrong thing, but all right. Okay. Is it? St or is it still choppy or? Yeah, I, I might just reset my computer after this level if there's time. But otherwise, I'll just sort of go with it. Mm, well, I I prefer you to actually like see the game properly if this is going to be the last session. Is it? So, yeah. Just just finish the level and I'll reset it. Oh, look at that! There's <laughs> that's literally like engine's uh, model from Crash Free. That's amazing. Yeah, that's, his that's his render from. Oh, jeez. Two or three, I think. Yeah. You you can notice like these portraits like they're literally just ripped from pr the previous games. Okay, I've already been back here. The music's completely stopped, by the way. What is going on? I don't know. Something's up, because. The warp room was just looping in on in on itself, the the theme what uh, was anyway, and um, now there's no music at all here. We hear is just the the ball rolling. Now now we get to play this level uh, and get to hear what Crash hears, I guess. Cause like, can you imagine like going outside and randomly hearing like background music? <laughs> if I had this game's soundtrack as a theme for, as a music for my life, I wouldn't be, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> oh jeez, I forgot about that box, those boxes. Good old tiny. Why doesn't he just break the atmosphere and No clue. No idea. He just, like, acts as a wall and then just lets you pass. I forget if there's boxes in this area. I think you can just get to the end of this. I think it would have made things a little bit more interesting if the, the henchmen were part of the at regular levels too, rather than just these Atlasphere levels. Because, I don't know, I would like to see them do more than just stand in these levels, like just helplessly. Yeah, I don't see any boxes. I've heard, so, um, I forget uh, who said, talked about this, but I, I remember hearing someone say like they could have had like tag team bosses where uh, Crunch teams up with one of the henchmen, like Tiny Entropy and all that. And um, if they do that, if they did that right, I think that could have been really cool and interesting. If they managed to make it not messy. Okay. But, uh, you gonna try restarting? Or, you know? Um... Yeah. Alright. I'll just do the, uh, time trial for the level, you're not gonna miss much. Okay. Alright. 140. And while we wait for Scrappy to come back, we're gonna do some more Atlasphere rolling. <sighs> and the music's back. Woohoo! Alright.
This should go. This shouldn't be too too hard. Also, I, I've also noticed that the uh, they're really stingy of uh, Aku Aku crates in these levels. Maybe it's just this one. I'm not sure, but I don't. I haven't seen like any here. But it's the first, this is the fifth warp room, so I guess it's it's warranted. No, 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 no. Okay. No, they should have like made it so you don't bounce off that bridge. It's kind of kind of annoying. Alright, let's beat this in record time. Because I think if I do this section right, I should be able to get to the the four boxes. And maybe they'll have some time crates up there. Ah, nope. Messed up. Oh well. Yes, yeah, gonna waste time. Yeah, there are definitely boxes there. If I can get this. I bet you they have some random time crates near the... Near where the, uh... Like, where the... Nitros were, like the end of that. And, like, it would just be completely pointless because you have to go back a long way anyway, which will completely nullify any sort of time bonus you, you, you'd you get. So it's like, why bother? Like, I don't know if there's actually time boxes there, but if there are, then it's pointless. I've gone the wrong way. Wait, I think I'm going too slow. Was it 120? One, I, it was either... Um... Ah... Oh, I forgot how much... How, I forgot what the time had to be, but it was like 130... 120 to 140. Or something like that. But we almost got it. Come on, uh, how do I, how do I do this? Oh, whatever, it's fine. Might as well go up this way. Yep, figured. There has to be a way to get up there early. That might have been worth it, actually. Okay! Hmm. Yeah, that was the bit. Okay. Messed up a little bit there, but...
Mm, no, that was bad. Oh crap. Hi. Uh I forgot that it okay. kicks me out of a call after like five minutes. Okay. Okay, how's <laughs> Video seems to be a little more fluid. I okay, guess going better now. <laughs> Dang it! I missed two but too many boxes. I'm having some issues with this one. The uh, are you still gone for you? Uh no, the, the music's uh, uh when I went back in for the time trial, it came back. But, um, hmm. So we, we didn't get the chance to actually properly discuss it, but like, what, how would you, what would you think about like having the henchmen characters like team up with uh, Crunch for bosses? I mean, yeah, I guess it'd be than what they got in this game in theory, I'm not sure how it would work in execution. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, it's all down to how, like, they do it, because, uh, I like the idea of that, having the henchmen do more than just stand in these levels. But it could also make them, the bosses really messy, too. So, it's, mm. And there's, if there's something we definitely don't need, it's making Water Crunch harder. Crunch both entropy's time manipulation. <laughs> yeah. Because I like, I think what makes... I think the difference between Entropy and Water Crunch is the fact that... Um, like, it, it's an, it's an obst obstacle course, then it's a platforming challenge, whereas uh, Water Crunch is both at the exact same time and it doesn't work well. It's just, um, it's just an unfair mess. I got some more such a pachinko flashbacks looking at that. <laughs> there has to be a way to go up this section uh, earlier because there's like a bunch of time boxes here. Like, I think you're supposed to like bounce up there somehow, but I don't know how you do it. Mmm. Mmm. I sometimes get lost on this part. I think it's like this way. Yeah, we're going the right way. Yep. Cool. Be careful though. There we go, cool. That took a bit, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, should, if anyone uh, is, wants to know about this, uh, this is being recorded like a couple days after the, um, 
the glorious Honey Pop LP that we did. <laughs> I don't know if this is going up before or after that, but that's a thing. The LP will be uploaded around April or so. Yeah. I have for it. Come to think of it, it'll probably be uploaded before this because I still got. I haven't. Uh, I'm uh, waiting. Like, I'm getting stuff ready. Um, a, a bunch of episodes ready before I start uploading so I can have a consistent upload rate. So. But that, that video is going up, like, immediately on April 1st, so... So slow. Yeah. I actually really like the, these last two levels, though, because it feels like a genuine build-up to the Cortex fight. Uh, like... Because th this game does... Again, it follows the same trend as, like, Crash 2 and 3 of uh, having five levels per warp room. But if this game had Crash 1 setup, where it was like an ongoing journey, these last two levels would feel like a, a, le a legitimate like climax to the game. So I can appreciate that. Those remind me of Crash 2's Cortex Station levels. Yeah, I can feel I can understand that too. Similar platforming in a sense. And I guess you could say, like, those those moving platforms are a bit like the Crash 3 future levels. W w just That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, just, just without having the sound effect. Screw this. <laughs> I kind of kind of like that. It's like a mix of the space station levels and the future levels. Unfortunately, I'd rather play those levels over this, but still, I appreciate the effort. Sometimes it feels like they just put random boxes everywhere <laughs> without any thought. Like that, those all those TNTs everywhere look like a complete mess. Make the jump easy, easier. Also, why does it look like all that gas is just gonna kill you? Like, You've been conditioned by this game to think that everyone's everything's gonna kill you. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, I, yeah, you still have the bazooka thing, but don't worry too much because you don't have to, you're not going to be doing that for the majority of this. This is basically just a chase level in the mech, so a lot of it is just regular platforming, and uh, it's, funnily enough, the best level with the mech, and, you know, it's funny how the, the best level with it is one where you don't use its mechanics. <laughs> So say, so make that for what you will. Oh crap! Being led to believe that this is Cortex's station, and he's I don't know trying to blow it up. I guess. This is the slowest explosion ever, by the way. I guess. Engine is like maybe doing controlled explosions throughout this facility. I guess so. Okay, good. It destroys the boxes. Maybe something an explosion that destroys the metal robots, but not the crates. <laughs> the music's pretty exciting to her. Uh, here too. I I don't. Unfortunately, I don't think you can hear it right now, but. Oh, uh, oh, oh my goodness. I just stood on, like, the tip. Mech saved your life. Yeah. What happened to the light? 
I don't know, but... Ooh. It's like they want to make it more like the other level, except actually fun. Okay, cool. It's not... It's not uh, even that long of a level either, so... Uh, like, compared to a lot of levels in this game, that was actually relatively short. Yeah. It's about the si it's about similar length to a Crash 2 or 3 level, now that I think about it. I think that's one of the main reasons why this game feels like it drags, is that the levels are just... A lot of, a lot of them just go on for way too long. Whereas, like, Crash 2 or 3, like... And even Crash 1 for that matter. Oh, hi. Crash, you've been a naughty boy. But now that's going to end. Okay. <laughs> uh, but, like, uh, the, the Crash trilogy, like, you can get through a level in a comfortable amount of time. And it... It doesn't feel... Because of that, it doesn't feel draining to go through multiple levels in one sitting. Whereas this game just kind of feels like a marathon sometimes. Oh. <laughs> 155 crates. Is that like, is that a record for most levels? Or crates on a single level? Uh, no, we, no, there's a, there have been some levels earlier that have like over 200, so. But, um, I think this would be more than any of the, Dang it, I'm making dumb mistakes. Uh, I think this would be more than any level in the trilogy. But don't quote me on that. I think, no, I think Cold Heart Crash had 155 also. Oh, that's true, yeah. So it's tied with that level. And I think the most in Crash 3 is Gone Tomorrow. I think. Either that or future. It's one of the future levels. But yeah. You still don't have a Death Tornado, do you? Oh, no, I have it. I just... It's hard to find uses for it, because, like, you s descend so quickly, and when you use it, you can't really correct yourself. So, like, if you make a mistake, you're just gonna screw up and die or something. Because these guys are back. I don't think you could jump on them in Crash 2, though. Or, or rather, I don't think it would kill them. Dang it. Also, I've, I've also just noticed uh, that the game starts having- when the game starts, there's a bunch of death routes. Oops. Um, but like, as you go further into the game, there's like, barely any. So, it's kind of weird how that works. They probably should have spaced them out there. Seeing their casualty of the rush development. Yeah. Because this game- they were just trying to be merciful and didn't want to make you suffer through no death runs in the later levels. That could be true too. I still like like the concept of death routes because it's it's a like, let's take a flawed uh, mechanic of the first game, or all of a flawed gameplay thing in the first game with like to get gems you have to not die. And make it into a legitimate, a legitimately challenging gameplay mechanic in the sequels. I could just blow up the, blow up the nitros with your, hmm. your bazooka. That's true. Oh, okay. There's a gem path here, though. I know that much. It's not a death route, though, so... I don't even know why I'm doing that. <laughs> I have 99 I lives. Forgot, yeah, I forgot you were completely. Uh, okay, screw this. Just. Oh, that acts as a barrier. Dang it. <laughs> they thought about it. <laughs> I can kill this guy. And I missed the nitros. I 
unlike Crash 3, I don't think this game has any levels that don't have a Nitro destru uh, Destruction Switch. So, okay. Wait, I need to get that. Um, can I still... Okay, good. That would have been bad. And there's a gem over there. Screw it, I'll deal with that later. Unfortunately, this game doesn't have a multicolored gem route. You just need what I think is that the green gem. Yeah, you only need that for this, which is a bit disappointing, but oh well. It could potentially be another victim of a rush development cycle, but I don't. We'll probably never know. Someone really is. Go ask Travis Tales what happened. Yeah. Like, we... Mm. I don't like these nitros. Uh, like... We know... We keep on learning more and more things about Twin Sanities, like, cut content and all that, but we, like, never hear anything about Crash 4. Because, and... It's, I don't know. I, from what I've, the little I've heard, it seems like there's, there's gonna be... A lot of interesting ideas that would just cut. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kinda cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the magnum opus of the, uh, of the nitro walking. It's like the final main level, so let's make it, let's make it as, like, over the top as possible. Ooh! The most main enemies I've seen gathered in one place ever. Yeah, right. <laughs> At least for crash standards. What? Oh. Oh, that's evil. I didn't know. I I I did not know there was a pit there. <sighs> Thankfully, like, hmm. Honestly, this is these these are probably some of the easy. This is probably one of the easiest, like, final, or, like, level 25 gem routes, like, in the series. Like... No, there's not nothing really super hard about this one. Besides these uh, nitros, which you can just blow up anyway. I'd say Bug Light is probably the easiest of the final main levels in the Crash game. The classic Crash games, anyways. Oh, if it's talking about, if we're talking about like may like just uh, just the normal final level, then yeah. That was a fun. I I meant more so like the 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 multicolored gem route. This is the easiest doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, I mean like this. Yeah. Okay, I don't have Aku Aku, so I'm not going to chance this. There's stupid walls there, but that's fine. Oops. That's just a fun level to play through. What, Bug Light? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I almost fell off again. Alright, cool. We're good. Alright, let's not make, make that mistake again. Alright, cool. Also, I like how the one prefer is shaped as an N. You crash drop like a rock. Yeah. I was trying to hit the electric fence, but I missed. Hmm. In terms of, oh, okay. Uh, in terms of, like, like enjoyability, would you say Bug Light is your favourite final cr may like, crash level? Or would you pick something else? Well, um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember what Crash's final main level was. 
It was another. It was, it was one of the station level. Was it a station level or a jetpack level? Uh, Crash Two. I think it was spaced out. It was the second space station level. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a challenge. Yeah, I like I like that. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Cool. I like. I, oh, also. Uh, hey. sp speaking of bug light. <laughs> Tharsis. Unfortunately, the sound effects aren't quite as satisfying, but still, this is the same same kind of mindset applies. Game of being tortured by nitro crates. Yeah, it's like we we know we know you've dealt with all of them so much in this game, so just just go nuts. Like this. <laughs> Look how many nitro boxes we just broke. From the, just the ones you had to break with the switch, like. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, I like the lab in Crash One. I feel like it's a, just a, I mean, also hard as. I do enjoy it? Like it's a nice culmination of what you've been going through. Yeah. Yeah, I actually kind of like uh, the lab. I don't like going through the time trial, but yeah. Yeah, final boss time. Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you collected all the crystals in record time, but you also defeated the elementals. Let Crunch and me be the first ones to congratulate you. By pummeling your sad bandicoot brain into a pulp. I, I like how we quote it to say, oh, you got all the crystals in record time, but as we keep saying, this game takes longer to beat, so it's like... Uh. <laughs> huh, uh... Now that I really, now that I sit down to think about it, um, this might be the easiest Warp Room 5 so far, honestly. I don't know. Like, nothing, like... This final boss is pretty challenging. It's probably one of the harder final bosses in the series, but, like, the, the levels themselves, um... <laughs> I like that. The levels themselves aren't really too much, too, aren't really that difficult. They they feel more like warp room, warp room three to four levels, honestly. But I don't know. There's still some of the funner levels in the game, though. Right? If, if that means anything. Was there no health bars shown? Not in this version. I I, I think in the GameCube version there is. But I don't know why they didn't do that for this one. But yeah, it's basically what this uh, fight entails. It's just... You gotta watch where Crunch is jumping towards, because uh, the lights he jumps to activates that elemental's power. So, um... Like, until... Until he stops doing that and gets, like, worn out, um, you just gotta have to avoid everything. And you just shoot him with a bazooka. One. Plus one for being the only boss fight to let you actually use the bazooka. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, this, oh, this game, I mean, I like... <laughs> hmm. Tells me that. Yeah, I'm wondering what is the electricity part of water, but okay. Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't get how... I don't, I don't get how the air ele elemental uses lasers that doesn't make any sense but all the others uh are what you'd expect them to be that's low, low. i thought that was wah wah um i think okay, see. yeah because of the uh oh, okay i thought i thought that was it oh, i think i missed is this the first time you, you're seeing this fight uh, I've seen parts of very minimal footage of this fight, but otherwise it's pretty much new. 
Okay, no, that is, that is wall. Oh, wait. I don't know. I, I've forgotten. Okay. That it kill you? Yeah, the ice doesn't kill you, it just immobilizes you for a little bit. Okay, so Lolo is the one summoning the lightning for some Wait. reason. Yeah. Okay, this might be the last hit, I don't remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know when you win when the uh, Ukuruku just twirls Cortex around. Yeah, we're good. Huzzah. All the spike tells me confirms me as a cortex is a joke. <laughs> like Cortex himself, yeah. Can't you ever let this is supposed to be his game and what do you want from me, you <laughs> Yeah. You realize that crash may have collected. It's kind of just a running gag at this point where Cortex himself is just kind of a joke of a boss. Destroy that bandicoot once and for all. This cutscene I've never seen and I can't hear it. It's they're basically just saying, uh, like, uh, we we still have the gems and stuff, and we can revive the elementals or something like that. We're gonna skip the credits for the for now. Uh, but yeah, I I I still want I still think I like Crash Freeze Final Boss the most just because like the the fact that you have to multitask and. The, the the whole thing with the masks, like, battling and all that. Also, I guess, yeah, I guess the sixth warp room just becomes available when you beat the game. It's kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, the, uh, this, this boss ain't bad. And now we have the running shoes. Alright, so, uh, okay, so, 